Hello everyone, this is Lisa Rosenberg at RL Fine Linens, and I just want to wish you a Happy New Year if you are Jewish. The Jewish New Year is a time that family gathers together, and we look forward to a year of health, happiness, and prosperity. And it's also a time of new beginnings. And I thought when I started this live, or just before I started this live, that I had changed the name of my group, but I, apparently I didn't push the save button. But I'm going to be changing the name of my group to Create the Bed of Your Dreams. Now, I could make it be something else like uh, turn, Transform Your Bed into an Island of Comfort or an Oasis of Comfort. Or oasis of beauty it's hard to know so I thought create the bed of your dreams dream weavers dream weavers create the bed of your dreams by RL fine linens so you'll be hearing that soon and what I wanted to tell you is that I am loading up my Shopify store and I'm gonna be launching it any day now and I am going to have available all the wonderful Hungarian goose down comforters that we carried before plus I'm going to be adding some new designs to the Siberian goose down comforters that I carry and there's going to be additional comforters they will not be part of the exclusive Hungarian goose down or the exclusive Siberian goose down but it will be providing the public with some affordable options for a down comforter made of white European goose down and uh, I have different weights for different people some people sleep hot some people are always cold so depending on your sleeping preference I have something for you and if you prefer a product that is vegan that does not use any animal products then I'm also going to be introducing some recyclable and sustainable um, products, uh, comforters, that are made from things like corn husk. Uh, I also have silk, which is very high-end. I also have um, some comforters that are made from ground-up recycled bottle, plastic bottles. So I'm looking forward to um, bringing these new products, but to get the what we are known for for over 30 years was our down comforters. Uh, we start out with our first down comforter store on Well Street in Chicago in the River North area and people were very fond of us and so we had a long history there. One of the first retail stores in the River North landscape and unfortunately River North has had a few, a few setbacks these last two years and so has retail and it was led to the our store closing um, after the 2008 recession and so guess what I've wanted to do this all along and I've decided to start small just with the comforters because it's a nice basic commodity I'm also looking at all these horrible tragedies where people are uprooted from their houses and you're living basically in a car do you know something if you grab your comforter you will be warm it's a really essential product even though it's a luxury product and I'm offering a range to the ultra high luxury which say in a queen duvet cover is going to go for about sixteen hundred dollars to Hungarian goose down where uh, queen comforter is about a thousand uh, and I am going to be having some discounts also I also have a European comforter that retails at about um, let me see so I can look now on my Shopify store and see but it comes in at a very good price like around four hundred dollars and then the other comforters that are made from some of these sustainable products there's a range of both high-end and low-end so I will be adding those to the shop but I'm going to start with Goose Down because I suspect that there are some customers who purchased a comforter from us maybe 10, 20, even 30 years ago, and it's time for replacement. 
textiles are not made out of titanium. They do not last forever. And so eventually you will have to replace your comforter. It's sort of like a car in that you only need to really purchase one every 10 years. Now, most people don't hold on to their cars for 10 years, but certainly a car can last for more than 10 years, and so can a good comforter. In fact, I did some videos which are posted on Instagram where I am showing my comforter that died, which was 30 years old. After 30 years, it had sprung a hole, and I happened to notice all this down particles accumulating in my room. It started out as a little puff here and a little puff there, and it got worse and worse, and I discovered a fairly significant hole in my comforter. When I went to go touch it, I realized that the fabric was totally deteriorated, the thing is that this is a comforter that was used for display, so it was in the sun. The sun will deteriorate fabrics. It will deteriorate cotton and other uh, natural fabrics. So beware if you have bed linens that are sitting in a path of a sunbeam that it can discol discolor uh, your, your linens. And anyway, so I sat here on my porch because I didn't know what to do with the the comforter. I was hoping to fix it and sew the hole, but the comforter was just too far go gone off over after 30 years. So I spent a little bit of time on my porch, and it was like early spring, so it was really cold out, and I posted a whole bunch of funny clips of me wrapped around this comforter delivering different information, you know, about like the quality of our comforters, which is very high quality. Now, one thing you have to realize with goose down is that in the bedding industry there is tremendous fraud out there because um, people are relying on customers purchasing the product and if they're unhappy it's just too much of a hassle to re return it that's especially true for mattresses where in the past if you had a mattress you want to return you're also going to have to incur all the prices of having it re-delivered to um, where, it, where it has to go. So that can be quite pricey. And uh, even mailing something like a comforter is not that cheap. So people don't want to have to deal with that headache. So anyway, I have my new, these are all the same comforters that I have been carrying for 30 years at RL. We opened up as RL, before that we were a Scandi down shop on Well Street. You may remember us from then. After about 10 years, we decided to go independent because frankly, we knew more about linens and comforters than Scandia down, especially the linens. And that was what RL became really famous for at a time when nobody had heard about Egyptian cotton or high thread count or all the things that we were well known for in our business. We were visited by the top designers. We were a go-to destination for people, tourists coming into Chicago, that they could come in and be welcomed cordially and see all the beautiful new things that we had. We really were the cutting edge of fashion for the bedroom. And then we expanded into towels and, and uh, table linens. We did well with towels, but I can tell you Americans are not real big table linen people. I am Italian and I am a big table linen person. And in fact, it's New Year's and I need to stop pretty soon because I need to get my table nice and ready for the holiday. In fact, I may post about it. But anyway, um, I want you to know that I am going to be introducing linens too. We're gonna to start on the website. I am populating my Shopify, making sure I have really great descriptions so people really understand the differences between the different quality levels of goose down that we carry. And I am going to be introducing, ooh, this is something that I really struggled with, a duck down comforter made of European down. And a, a lot of our whole shtick in our business was how Hungarian goose down, goose down, is much superior to duck down. That is true. But you know what? You can buy a very high quality duck down and you will pay a lot less money. And so we have a comforter which contains similar ounces to our heaviest comforter. 
However, it is with the lower um, grade of goose down, 600, but this is the thing you have to understand with down. This number has a lot of deception involved because bottom line is you don't want hard feathers in your mix. And that is really the issue. If you have hard feathers, they poke through and they can damage the ticking. We deal with the highest quality of down, whatever the grade is. We've had our down independently trusted, tested, and you can trust what we say. We make sure that our construction of our duvet covers is sufficient to keep it downproof throughout the years. A comforter is not something that you buy every day. It's a, it's a long-term investment. You can expect to have a, the enjoyment and use of a good comforter, quality comforter like what I carry for at least 10 years, 15 years, even 20 years if properly cared for. And so just think about that because when you buy the cheaper product, you'll have it for a year or two and you'll throw it away. And that's fine sometimes. Sometimes we are just looking not for the comfort level, we're looking to just really for visual presentation. Let's say you're staging a house. You don't need a $1,500 comforter on your bed, but you do need things to look nice. So I'm trying to provide a wide variety. I'm mainly going to focus on white neck root. Now, for people that want other types of stuff, we have our wonderful design service. And I am the buyer. I was the buyer for RL. So I'm very aware. I'm a color person. I love to decorate and I would love to help you. But you know what? It is New Year's and I have to start cooking pretty soon. And so I'm going to have to say goodbye. Oops. What happened? Oh my goodness. You just <laughs> see I have a not a very great um, tripod right now. But I'm going to give you a little impression of my table right now. Sort of a mess, not a huge mess. But I'm already building on top of my little floral presentation that I'm doing here. I'm gonna get some more flowers. I'm gonna buy some other things and uh, dinner will be served around six. And I look forward to talking to you. Please come to our Ralph Fine Linens. Please share the site, ask them to join. Do you have design issues? Do you want to know like what kind of sofa or rug or drapes you need? Perhaps you want to paint your house. These are things I can really help you with. And I enjoy talking about it. So I'm hoping to do lives or have people participating. Right now I'm kind of lonely, but that's okay. I'll just talk and hopefully somebody will hear this later. I'm going to go shopping now. So have a happy new year and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.